Uh, ladies and gentlemen from the Hard Rock Hotel Casino of Las Vegas, Bob Arums. Top ranked boxing is proud to present the main event of the evening. On the line, the vacant WBA interim world championship, 12 rounds of boxing in the super flyweight division. Sponsored by Tecate Cerveza Con Character and the Vegas Hard Rock. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman Bill Brady, Executive Director Keith Kaiser, Commissioner Skip Avancino Jr., John Bailey, TJ Day, and Pat Lundville. Ringside physicians are doctors. James Game, William Berliner, Stephen Leibowitz, and Vicky Mazzarana. Timekeepers at the bell and counting for the knockdown seconds, Jim Cavan and Steve Esposito. And representing the WBA is supervisor Michael Welsh. For this bout, the title can only be won by the red corner as his opponent in the blue corner did not make the official weight. The three judges at ringside scoring this bout Max DeLuca, Dwayne Ford, and Jerry Roth. And inside the ring, your referee in charge of the action at the bell, Vic Draculich. And now for the thousands in attendance here at the Vegas Hard Rock and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue, official weight, 119 one half pounds. His professional record, 13 victories, including eight knockouts with three defeats and one bout even. From Panama City, Panama, here is Rafael El Torito Concepcion. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing yellow official weight, 115 pounds. His professional record, 21 victories, including 14 KOs, only one defeat. From General Santos City, Philippines, the former flyweight champion of the world, Nonito, the Filipino Flash na doner pero sanay ako donaire <laughs> ayan po hindi tawag ko sa kanya dito doner pag nasa Pilipinas donaire and of course ang tatanong kayo bakit bakit dilaw eh pula tayo nakikita natin kay Nonito Donaire again ulitin po natin ito ay uh, pagpupugay ng ating kapatid na si Nonito the Pinoy Flash Donaire sa ating uh, Presidente Corazon si Aquino in fact in the back waistband uh, sa shorts ni uh, Donaire nakalagay ang pangalan Aquino at sa likod ng kanyang robe, hindi natin masyado nakita as he entered the ring, nakalagay the, the letters uh, IMO. IMO in memory of the former President Cory Aquino. And yan po ang uh, dedication ni Donito Donaire for this fight. Yung timba will be a factor. Tignan ho natin kung paano ang uh, laki ng katawan nito pong si uh, El Torito he came in at 119 yesterday hindi niya binabayan and I think he has grown to at least 129 dinito dito sa, sa laban nito parang tanky oh malaki siya yes but he's much smaller and I don't know if uh, he can last 12 rounds no? kung hindi siya masyadong preparado in terms of training sinabi naman sa atin that uh, okay naman ang dieta niya okay naman ang training niya hindi lang talaga niya mapigana ang kanyang katawan to bring it down to 115 in his last fight, he fought at 120. The fight before that, 127. Okay, usually ma ikliho yung book niya. Ginawa niya mystery yung book niya. Yung pala, ang tawag ng mga matatandang barbero dyan, Iper. <laughs> and they now garbed in uh, gold. Parang ano yan, yel, gold and yellow ang tawag natin dyan. Eh? Nonito Donaire hits with that uh, little left and Mason with that sharp right. Hindi ba masyado nakikita natin yung jab ni uh, Donaire? There you go. Magalaw si Torito, ha? He has to stay out of the range, Inito. Kaya yun siguro oh. ginagawang turo sa kanya. 
and immediately there is that left by Donito Donaire who staggers. Ito pong si uh, El Torito, Rafael, Rafa Concepcion. I think both the fists of uh, Donaire are loaded. <laughs> Pero ang sabi niya sa akin, hindi niya alam kung uh, yung power niya iumbra sa isang boxingero who will probably come into this fight weighing 130 pounds. Pero sabi niya, it's a challenge. I'm confident of my power. At titignan natin how far uh, Torito Concepcion can go. Again, because hindi nakuha ang timbang ni Torito, kung siya manalo dito, the title will remain vacant. Pero kung manalo si Nonito, since nakuha niya ang timbang, he will be the new interim WBA Super Flyweight Championship and he will be on the road to trying to become Naku, a multi-divisional champion. Yes. At nakapikit na po itong si El Torito. Hindi malang kung paano hihilag. And Donaire teeing off very early. Pero pinakawalan niya. Nakita mo, pwede niya na ikinulong dun eh. But Donaire allowing El Torito to just escape after being clipped I with know. a one-to combination. And, and Chino, you can see that Concepcion really has a lot of respect for the power of Donaire. Galaw siya ng galaw eh. Ayaw niyang matamaan. <laughs> Saka hindi pa dumarating yung suntok, nakapikit na. <laughs> Not only that, halos hindi siya sumusuntok dito, no? You see, he probes with his left hand, pero that punch is far from hitting the target. Donaire is absolutely controlling the tempo of this first round. Look at the range, Kinito, and look at the balance. Sino masarap panoorin kay Donito Donaire? Yung display of that skill inside of first round, and what is a dominating first round immediately for the Pinoy Flash? Responsibility. Para mabigyang kustisya ang biktima. Credibility. Investigahan ang mga patalasta sa TV ng mga opisyal ng gobyerno. Pinagbabato ng itlog ang mga litrato ng mga opisyal na may infomercial. Integrity. Sabi ni Era, wala naman siyang motibo para ipapatay. Hindi naman nila maluloko ang tao ba yan. Hindi siya yung tipo ng tao mag-uutos na pumatay sa isang kapwa tao. Dedication. Ang pang-araw-araw na buhay ng isang bus driver. Mahigit labing walong oras nang nasa kalsada si Mang Sani. Professionalism. Hindi po nagbawas presyo ang mga butika sa ilang gamot. Bakit hindi kayo sumunod? Excellence. Walang kinikilingan, walang pinoprotekta. Walang kasirungalingan, sir. Di sum totoo lamang. These are the virtues we live by every hour, every minute, and every second. Because we adhere to our commitment to deliver balanced and reliable news and to dedicate true service to every Filipino. Panahon na para ipaalam ang iyong sa loobin. Ito na ang chance mong makipag-chat live sa mga kandidato sa election 2010 dito sa Exchange sa Your Box, ang web election primer ng gnanews.tv. Sa kagustuhan niyang wakasan na ang kasamaan, isasakripisyong nga ba ni Roma ang sariling buhay? Ito lang ang paraan para magpatay ang nipaksa! Ang sarugtong ang buhay namin! Kapag namatay ako, mamamatay din siya! Sa muling pag-aharap ni na Dharma at Shiro, sino kaya ang magwawagi at may muling magbabalik? Nasaan ang anak ko? Si Shiro. Tunghaya ng mga lalong umiinit na tagbo ngayong linggo sa... Dharma! On GMA Pinoy TV. Deal with life just like Angelina and Yaya. Learn the basics of having fun just like Angelina. Oh no! <laughs> Bakit nerekamo ka ba? May problema ka ba? And learn how to deal with extraordinary challenges like Yaya. <laughs> Laugh it all out with your favorite gang, Bubble Gang, on Fun Tambaya, here on GMA Pinoy TV. Ang tunay na lalaki, matigas. Matigas yung hassle ko eh. Matigas nga! Matapang. Gusto mo makakita ng bakla? Atletic. Anak kita! Mahilig sa... Babae! Magino. I'm a good person. With a good heart. You know. At hindi kumihigin mo. Show me the money! Tandaan nyo itik! Hindi kami baklus! Itong si... Si Junjun, mas fluent ho yan sa Cebuano o Bolano kesa sa pagsalita uh, ng Tagalog kasi yun nga ang ligwahe nila. Okay, may, 
Nakalimutan yung tuwalya dito sa, sa may kanto ni Rafael Concepcion. Buti nakita ni uh, Dracula, eh, uh, referee Draculich pala. Kamag anak yan eh, ano eh, nung tinalo ka dito ni Miligay. Ano naman, sabi ko na sa'yo eh, huwag mo ko sisimulan ni... Oh, dito na muna yung taksalapan na po. Seryoso na tayo rito. Seryoso muna. Pero hindi totoo na pugian si Bernabe Concepcion, kaya ayaw niyo suntukin si Lumano, ha? Not to serious business. Yan ang gusto ko sa paa nitong si Lunito Donaire. Na, nakikita niya na yung galaw, and he is just ready to retreat and then spring back to action. At saka Chino, maganda dito, maganda dito kay Lunito. Eh ano, pinag-aaralan niya ang Steeler Lee Concepcion. He is going to break down that defense bit by bit. He's a thinking fighter, and he's got all the skills. Tignan niya yung pag-counter niya, oh. Ayun yung pinakamaganda doon. Sumusuntok sa hangin. Now, so far, yung pinag-usapan natin kanina, yung speed. Ito, very evident, no? Very evident advantage ni Donaire. Yung power, well, that's still a question mark. Oo, kanina nung first round, no? Yung stamina. Yan ang gusto kong... Yan ay, sasagutin sa atin yan, eh. Oh! Tinala agad ng kanan. Ito pong si Lunito Donaire of a fake. Kumiksa ng uh, kaliwa, tapos biglang binanato ng kanan. Yung stamina, tignan natin kung magkakaroon siya ng problema with breathing. But I don't think it's a major problem para dito kay Lunito Donaire. He was stayed in shape. Ang talagang disiplinado ang nakita natin approach niya dito sa training camp niya na ito. Alam mo, maganda dito kay Torito eh. Siya nag-adding to a He got, he got Lunito Donaire with that time with right hand. And Junjun comes back with that left. Yung tinatanong mo kanina, yung last natin, ability to take a punch. Yun, hindi ko pa nakikita si Junjun kasing tamaan. Itong si Pinoy Flash. Medyo nag-iisig doon si Donaire, ha? He got hit by a solid right hand coming from Concepcion along the ropes. His back was on the ropes. So, siguro, naiisip yun ni Donaire, no? Biak na yung kaliwang kilay nitong si El Torito. Donaire gets tagged by El Torito. He moves away from danger. And he got, he got tagged again. Torito is showing the power of a bigger guy. He's showing the power of a bigger guy. And Torito hurting ito si Donaire. And Donaire's face doon sa may bandang kanan na namumula. Well, this is a very big round for Concepcion. There's a big weld now on the right side of the face of Donaire. He got hit by the left hand. Ang ganda ng bomba ni Torito. Although, di nung... Meron pumutok na po itong si, dito sa may bandang uh, kaliwang kilay, si El Torito. He inflicted two best shots. And by that, kinito, I think, El Torito will get this second round. Tignan natin yung major adjustment that he has to do to avoid that looping left of El Torito. Yun, ability to take a punch, sinagot na sa atin. Oh, that was a wake-up call for Nonito Donaire. He probably thought that he could take Concepcion at any time in this fight. Ngayon, alam niya, he's in. He's in a fight. May power ito si Concepcion. Meron, kilala, kilala. And now you see that Concepcion is moving in. He feels he needs to take Donaire out in the early rounds because baka yung stamina niya, he might not be able to last the late rounds. Meron loose tape that Vic Draculich just reattached para dito po. Ayun ang pasugod na stilo ni El Torito. Kaya El Torito yan eh, baby bull or little bull. Yes. Now this raises the fear that we had before the fight. Baka nga yung power ni Nonito is not enough to stop someone as big as Concepcion na hindi niya nakuha yung timbang for this fight. Ngayon, ang ginagawa ni Nonito, he's staying away by dancing away, retreating from the onrushing El Torito Concepcion. Throwing a left hook there is Donaire. Donaire now is wary of the punching power. Ang respeto siya bigla. Yeah. Donaire trying to work that left upper. And a sort of a concerned look. Dito kay Nonito Donaire. Well, you notice that he's making maximum use of the ring now. He's circling away from Concepcion. 
that which might, is his advantage. Yes, yeah. this is a good tactic that he's using because he's using lateral movement para hindi makaset up si Concepcion with his power shots. This is a coasting round for uh, Donaire. At the same time, he's not really throwing too many punches. Just moving from left to right. I'll make that uh, right to left. Yeah. Just to, keeping a jab. Uh, just to throw off the rhythm. Of, uh, ayun. Let, you know, that's exactly what Donaire wants to wants to happen. Keep him off balance. Yamba siyang makalisod. And throw away his rhythm because you need good timing to throw those punches. Again, trying to launch that uh, left of his and staying away from that uh, punching range. Nito pong si El Torito is Donaire. Now, this is a good defensive round for uh, Donaire. If you notice, he halos hindi na nakakasuntok o hindi nakakapag-landing si Concepcion. While with that uh, right, si Donaire. Working that jab inside of 10 seconds. Dito sa third round. Dancing away from trouble, Nino Nito Donaire in that last round. And for that, no, na hindi naman tumama si El Torito and he frustrated El Torito. I got, uh, bibigyan ko natin yung round sa ating uh, kababayang si Nino Nito Donaire. At saka nakatama din siyang na, 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 na mga jabs, no? And he was able to throw some punches. A lot more connected for Donaire than Concepcio. Kanya, we gave that third round to Donaire. So to recap, yung first round, binigyan natin kay Donaire. The second round, because of those two vicious punches, dito pong si El Torito, kanya yung second round. The third round, to Donaire. And you see here the power punches thrown through three rounds. And that's the percentage of Donaire in the conception of Baba, less than 20%. Donaire is now using his boxing skills. Now he wants to frustrate Rafael Concepcion. Just take him out of his rhythm. Yana ang galaw ng Donaire. Hindi na nakikita nitong si El Torito kung ano susuntukin niya. Bukod sa meron siyang uh, dugo o dumudugong kilay, eh, ang likod pa ni Donaire sa loob ng ring. Remember na itong laban na to, hindi na dapat itinuloy nitong si Nonito Donaire. But he felt, hindi niya kailangan yung uh, pera doon sa fine. Kailangan niyang patunayan what he is made of. Again, some power shots coming from Donaire. And no reaction on the part of Concepcion. Na parang tinatanggap na yung power ni Donaire. Yun ang lamang niya. No? Yun ang nakuha niyang lamang doon sa kanyang pagtimbang kahapon ng 119. Sabihin mong kumain ng maganda yan. Tinuloy-tuloy niya yung pagpapalaki niya. He could be carrying around 128 no wait dito sa laban nato against Donaire. Well, you know, Donaire now is beginning to throw punches at will. You know, he feels he's got Rafael Concepcion all figured out because of his speed. Not so much the power, it's the speed. And he's beating him up. Saka maganda yung pinanggising kanina sa kanya ni Rafael Concepcion yes. sa second round. I think this, yun ang turning point para sa akin. But again, Donaire cannot afford to, to be confident. Ayun, bumamba na kanan, kinito. Nice shot. And again, to that uh, bloody left Chino. side of the face, itong si El Torito. At Chino, to innate tumatama na isang boxingero, ng isang matinding suntok sa muka, I always look at the legs of the one who received the punch because that is a telltale sign kung nagbabakel, kung nagbabakel o nagra-robbery, hindi ko pa nakikita eh. Yung tuhod ni Rafael Concepcion after taking a power shot. Sariwa pa. You see, again, he took a power shot. Another power shot. But he counters, ha? But he's not going down. Ang tapang ito, sumasabay, oh. Ito, piso-piso ito, tumatama. Ito pong sento nito sa exchange. He's a warrior. Concepcion is a warrior.
The Romantic Farewell sa GMA Pinoy TV. Sa kagustuhan niyang wakasan na ang kasamaan, isasakripisyong nga ba ni Roma ang sariling buhay? Ito lang ang paraan para magmatay ang lipangsa! Ang sarugtong ang buhay namin! Kapag namatay ako, mamamatay din siya! Yamawa! Sa muling pagharap ni na Darna at Shiro, sino kaya ang magwawagi at may muling magbabalik? Nasaan ang anak ko? Si Shiro. Tunghaya ng mga lalong umiinit na tagbo ngayong linggo sa On GMA Pinoy TV. We make sure you are the first to know all the breaking news as they happen. As well as up-to-the-minute reports. Full account on every issue, including all the related details. And pictures with their own stories to tell. Now more than ever, we're giving you all the news and information you need. GMANews.TV The Filipino's fastest and most comprehensive source for online news and information. Too many questions left unanswered. Si Daddy and Tony kung ama. Too many issues needed to be dealt with. Alam mo ba? Alam mo kaya ko na naiinggit kay Maureen? Dahil lahat, lahat, lahat nasa kanya. And too many broken hearts yearning to be healed. Wala ko kailangan ipaliwanag sa'yo. Kahit magpaliwanag mo na ako, hindi mo rin naiinggit. Kung nagawin mo ang lahat sa akin, tune in for its finale. Here on GMA Pinoy TV, meet Chantilly, ang naive little may sunshine na always happy kahit niloloko na pala. Pero sa aatendang homecoming, siya naman ang maloloko. SRO Cinema Serie presents Reunion. Mapapanood niyo na sa GMA Pinoy TV. Chino, yung full body weight ni Nonito, binibigay niya sa mga suntok niya, no? And I still don't see Rafael Concepcion in danger of going down. Yun ang nakakatakot. That makes him a very dangerous opponent because parang kaya niya yung suntok ni Donaire. Now, maybe an accumulation of punches, the volume might wear him down as his fight progresses. Tandaan ninyo na itong si Rafael Concepcion has never been stopped in his career. Yung pong tigil na ginawa sa kanya kontra kay Jorge Arce, pinigil nung kanyang corner yung round, yung pagtatapos ng ninth round kasi marami nang nasasambot na suntok. At he never went down. Ganong katapang. Ito pong si Rafael El Torito Concepcion. Well, there are fights where Concepcion went down. In fact, he went down twice in one in one fight. Then he came back up to knock out the other guy. Kanya, ang recuperative powers ni Concepcion ay grabe. Tsaka bato lang ng bato, kinito? Oo, parang take. Remember, si Concepcion ang tumalo kay AJ Ivanal. Isang boxer na hinahangahan natin, Chino. Yan ang gusto nating makikita ang ipaghigante ni Nonito Donaire. But more than the higante, eh, kailangan munang iligpit ni Nonito Donaire ito dahil hindi po madali ang laban na ito para kay Jun Jun Donaire. Para sa ating Pinoy Flash. Double left jab coming from Donaire. Then, Concepcion connecting that time, raising a lot of sweat from the head of Jun Jun Donaire. Pagka lubusot si Donaire, pagka sumugod sa nakaka-counter itong El Torito. A slip ruled by uh, Vic Draculic in the middle of the ring. Round number 5, scheduled for 12. Importante dito, Chino, huwag manggigil si Donaire, no? Right now, I feel that he's looking for a knockout. If that knockout isn't there, he should just take his time. He should box. Yes. At yan ang ginagawa niya ngayon, working the job. He can never be careless against El Torito. You know, yung galaw na pinapakita dito ni Donaire, reminds me of a young Muhammad Ali. Yung, uh, you know, footwork, ball, yung footwork at saka yung dropping the hands tapos throwing the jab. It reminds me so much of a young Muhammad Ali. Ay, sino naman pinapaalala sa'yo ni El Torito? Naalala mo yung three line Manila? Sandali, ano yun? Kauntugan. Putok, oh. 
Dat lijkt me ontdoen, hè? Ja. Kipperhera, kipperhera. Pero di sinasa ja in hindi man siya, hindi man sino wakero. Pasugod kasi. Yun ang mga distractions na ayaw na ayaw natin, no? Magandang test ito para kay Donaire. Ano, ano ba talaga itong uh, batang ito? Uh, this is a major test because ang balak niya is to become a multi-divisional champion. Sabi mo nga kanina sa umpisa, no? And uh, now that he's fighting someone who's, what, probably a super bantamite. <laughs> Maligang pasugod lang, no? Napakabigat ng mga sotok at napakatapang ni El Torito Concepcion. Mabigat na laban ito, and that's an understatement. You see Rafael Concepcion bringing all his weight into this fight. Bumato agad eh. Tsaka hindi umatras, partner. Sa dami ng mga sutok na nakakuha niya from uh, Donaire, hindi siya umatras. Alala ko, bago ko mali sa biyaheng ito, eh, binulong sa akin yung kuya ko, si Reca Trinidad. Aha. Sabi niya, tignan mo yung laban na yun. Pwede mo magkaroon ng shades niya nung si Ali Fraser. No? Yung isang maganda kumilos, maganda sumuntok, at isang walang gagawin kundi sumugod at iintayin yung chance no? to pounce on uh, the light moving na si Nonito Donaire. Tinitignan ko yung corner, no? si Dodi Boy Peñalosa at saka si Jonathan Peñalosa. Pina susuntok nila eh, pinadjadjab nila si Junjun kasi kung galaw lang siya ng galaw, baka hindi iskoran eh. At saka ano, mapapagod lang dito si Concepcion. Sa kakatakbo, sa kakahabol. And while he's doing that, he's gonna get hit by jabs. So Donaire is scoring and Concepcion gets tired. So that's the perfect strategy at this point. Huwag na labanan ni Donaire si Concepcion na harap-harapan. Isa-isa. Power after power. Because right now, parang na na ang feeling natin. Parang kaya ni Concepcion yung power ni Donaire. Ganun talaga yung uh, El Torito eh. Well, dahil nga sa ano, sa extra pounds eh. He's fighting as a natural super bantamweight. May ano siya, kumbaga shielded siya from the extra weight that he's carrying into this oh, fight. Oh, I agree completely, Chino. Naku, tumama pa. Nice right hand. But Donaire sucks it off. Kailangan sundan niya yung kanan na yun. Pag bumato to eh, from a counter, or from a top, as si counter, si Tumusi El Torito, doon na sasapayan, tumama na naman, no? Three punches scored. Dito pong si El Torito, and forced to retreat is Nonito Donaire. And no retaliation coming from Donaire. Now, Donaire is making Concepcion miss. That's a good tactic. Make him waste his energy. Ang danger dito is para nagpapakorder si Donaire, no? Oh, nice shot. Pero tingin mo, again, yung kailang, kailang pa na-list na yun. Ginagawang vitamina rin yung suntok, eh. Ayun yung punto sinasabi natin, no? I think the ability to take a punch. Concepcion, nakikita natin, no? You can't take that, that yeah, power. Ayun lang, no? Tentative. Actually, basa mo, eh, no? Yung, uh, kumbaga, telegraph na yung galaw nitong si El Torito, but he hits with that jab. Ako, this is a good run for Concepcion. It is. And we'll have to give that round to the Panamanian. Oh, Bagbabasihan niyo ho yung pustahan dito na hindi na ho nilagyan ng ads, ano, wala ng line. Kasi ganun ka dominante sa tingin ng mga veterano na sumisirip sa mga laban si Donaire. Eh, palagay ko, proven wrong na sila at this point. Seventh round, and El Torito still standing, and El Torito still continue to inflict some damage dito po kay Jun Jun Donaire. I think Donaire is showing a lot of class. Total punches through six rounds so far. Yun lang accuracy ni Donaire yes. ang uh, nakakagulat. Yun mo. But if you notice, mas maraming tinatapon si Concepcion. So he's a lot busier fighter in this bout. Yun nga lang, mas maraming nagla-landing coming from uh, Donaire.
Again, Concepcion has Donaire in a corner and he slips away. We're going for an opportunity para kumanto na maganda, but he is getting tagged no, to pull si Donaire. Magalig magano, magpressure si Concepcion. Pressure fighter talaga. You know, if Bernabe Concepcion could have used that kind of pressure against Luevano, Let's just say that Remember, Mahabatong Laban, Mahabapa. We're only in round number seven. And this round is going Concepcion's way. Sorry, you are si Concepcion. The last round, long feeling po namin, ako ulit si Concepcion. And this round, mukhang kinukuha pa rin niya. Nice shot, the right hand coming from Donaire. Nakakita sa, for the first time, nakita ko mata si Concepcion dito. In that last exchange. Pero bumalik na, ang bilis na ng Rumi Cover eh. Ayan o, pasigod na naman. Donaire finding and trying to pick his spot. Magandang patamaan. And that upper and a straight. And Donaire... He's picking his oh, touches. Yun ang isasabi natin, no? Tinatiming niya na. Yun yung gusto niya. Pero ang na napapansin natin dito, no? Paisa-isa yung mga suntok ni Donaire. They're not throwing... The he's not throwing the combinations that he needs to be able to put an opponent down. I think it's because in the back of his mind, alam niya, nakakabalik ito si Concepcion. In Hindi siya nakakasiguro. And Concepcion, again, tags him in the corner. Dances away from trouble is Donaire. And Concepcion trying to steal this round away. Mula ngayon, babantayan na talaga kita ng maigi para hindi ka naman nakaw sa akin. Mahal na mahal kita, Erika. Tuluyan ang mababaliw si Rosalinda habang patuloy pa rin ang pagmalalapit sa kanya. Basura ka ng gusto mo! Nasdala ka pa ng isang basura! Akin na nga yan! Ikaw ang mamatak ko! Tutuklasan na ni Fernando Jose kung nasaan si Erika. Tito Berta? Pagmas na niya sa mabuti, mama. Siya si Erika. Malalantad na ang kasamaan ni Valeria. Rosalinda, ikalawang yugto, gabi-gabi sa Pinoy Telenovelas. Sa mura niyang isipan, pagiging makasarili at maingitin ang itatanim sa kanyang puso ng ina. Isipin mo kung paano mo mailalayo si Jody kay Chol. That's your mission. Kaya't sa kanyang paglaki. Saan ka pupunta? May aasikasuhin lang ako. Sinungaling! Alam mo na mahal na mahal ko si Chol. Bakit hindi mo na lang siya ipaabaya sa akin? Susuungin niya ang bawat laban. Masunod lamang ang kagustuhan si Gliza De Castro bilang yuni sa Stairway to Heaven sa GMA Pinoy TV. Here's a round after round of laughter from Pinoy Fantambayan. Expect heavy blow of hilarity on Bubble Gang. Get smacked with amusement on Bitoy's funniest videos. <laughs> Whacked with woody jokes on Cool Center. Kaila birthday mo para paghandaan ni Eugene. Toko na birthday ka ba? Pag na birthday ka ngayon tao na to si Sigurdo ikaw last na yon. And take hard hitting punchlines from our brand new comedy show. Eh ano ba problema mo ha? Gusto mo sung tukan? Ani ka sung tukan tayo? I hope she will be kind to me, so we can be friends. You know. Get knocked out in laughter on Pinoy Fun Tambayan. Only on GMA Pinoy TV. Mula sa news organization na walang kinikilingan, walang pinoprotektahan, walang kasinungalingan, servisyong totoo lamang, ito ang Pinoy Balitaan. Every second counts. Every minute matters. Ako po si Mel Chang. Ako po si Mike Enriquez. Dali, hindi natutulog ang balita. Nakatutok kami 24 oras. Ang tahanan ng katotohanan 24 oras. 
follow up on the latest news. Be a witness to the stories of current events. Ako naman, Arnold Club. Ako po si Vicky Morales. Tama-sama tayong magiging saksi. Ang Liga ng Katotohanan, saksi. Short but concise newscasts. Stay informed even on weekends. Ako po si Maris Umali. Hindi po ibitaw sa balita. GMA Weekend Report. Be in the know any day, any time with 24 Horas, Saksi, and GMA Weekend Report on Pinoy Balitan. Only here on GMA Pinoy TV. Sa kagustuhan niyang wakasan na ang kasamaan, isasakripisyong nga ba ni Roma ang sariling buhay? Ito na nga para, para magpatay ang lipaksa! Magtarugtong ang buhay namin! Kapag namatay ako, mamamatay din siya! Sa muling pag-aharap ni na Darna at Shiro, sino kaya ang magwawagi at may muling magbabalik? Nasa ng anak ko? Si Shiro. Tunghaya ng mga lalong umiinit na tagbo ngayong linggo sa... Darna! On GMA Pinoy TV. Do you crave for LSD? Lies. Noong linggo, July 26, ibinalita sa isang talk show sa kabilang channel ang karumal-dumal na sinapit ng dating sexy star na si Pamela Ortiz. Totoo po yan mga kaibigan, ang tanging star talk lang ang makakagawa nito. Narito po ang patay, live. Ano reaction mo nung malaman mong patay ka na? Ikaw ba talaga yan? Yeah, ako, ako. Ikaw talaga? <laughs> Scandals. Nang tanungin si Lobby, ukol sa nabalitang tensyon na namagitan sa kanila ni Rosana Roses. More than tension. Naiyak ako nila kasi hindi porket ginaganyan niya ako, e ganon din ang ibabalik sa kanya. Hindi naman ako ganon. Ay, parang lumaki naman ako ng maayos. And dirt. Baron Geister, hindi ro bad boy. Misunderstood lang. As long as nirespeto ko buong sarili ko at ang mga kaharap ko, Matino po ang tao. Jeff Agen, mayroon dama ko ba? Well, handa kaming manood! Yay! Si ni Mami Dionysia, si Piola, ang type niyang maging leading man sa movie. Sabi! Close na to! If yes, then we'll hook you up with a showbiz authority. Gusto po bang makabalik sa showbiz? Wala pong artista na hindi gustong bumalik sa showbiz. Kung role ng patay ang bibigay sa'yo, hindi mo tatanggapin? Hindi po. Ayaw mo na, madala ka na. Star Talk, get it here on GMA Pinoy TV. Nasa 8 round na ho tayo. That was a big punch scored by Concepcion in that round, your right hand. But binigay natin yung round kay Donaire. sa corner ni El Torito ay yung pagkakakontrol nila ng dugo. Yung sa puntok na maaga pa ang nangyari dito po kay uh, El Torito. Aparte, this is also a test of Donaire's stamina. Yan. Whether he can continue to use that ring the way he has been doing it until uh, the end of the fight. Kung sakasakali man umabot dito sa 12 rounds. Remember that Donaire, ito hindi ko excuse, no? He went through the motion of squeezing himself dry to make the 115 pound yes. limit. And that's tough, no? Yung ibababa mong timbang mo to make the weight against a fighter na kanya pong nakaharap ngayon na ulitin natin, hindi na po nag-reduce. Pero... All that, kung magka-factored in, laban pa rin ito. Ginusto mong labanan, eh. Pakita mo na kaya mo. Right now, this is Concepcion's round. Tumatama si Concepcion. He's more aggressive. Yes, he's more aggressive. And again, si Denair is just moving away, fighting defensively. Walang kasunod din. Tumatama pero walang kasunod ka dito. I think he's very wary na makatama siya ng isa. Hindi nasasaktan eh. Kanya, baka tamaan siya in return. Now, you see Concepcion using the jab a lot more now in this round. So, pinakinggan niyo yung sinabi sa, sa kanya ng cornerman niya. Nonito trying to get the proper angle para ilunch yung kanyang uh, kaliwa. But he cannot seem to get the opening dahil napaka-busy nito pong si El Torito. Inside of one minute, and about scheduled for 12, this is for the WBA Indrim Super Flyweight Championship.
A lot of anxious moments in this fight. Natapang itong si Rafa. Nakakita na siya ng paraan eh, para iwasan niya. That's a straight right. Pero he's still back mong yan. Ito pa rin eh, bumabalik eh. Hindi spring back. And then he launches his own attack. Well, you know, in this fight, Rafa might have been more aggressive, but it's Jun Jun Donaire who's connecting, and Concepcion forced to hold. Oh, 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 oh. Using the ring to your advantage, huwag mong papayaan na mabugbog ka nung na agresibo at walang tigil na kamay nitong si El Torito. Di ba kaya niligyan ng space na walang ring para gagamitin, ano? And that's what is itong uh, strength nitong si Dunayre at this point. You see some stats on your screen. Dunayre with the edge in terms of jabs. Yun, yung left upper. Pero parang glance lang, no? hindi pa purong-puro yung landing. His conception is like a, as his nickname uh, indicates, so he's like a bull. Pasok lang ng pasok. Ito, nilalaro naman ni Juju Donaire. Parang siya naman yung matador. You know, he's trying to frustrate Concepcion, making him miss badly, and then uh, throwing jabs that will connect. But you know, it's not easy to frustrate this guy, Concepcion. He's just coming in. You know, he's been cut since around since round two. Abante, abante, yun lang ang ginagawa, yun. Wala lang kasunod eh, yun lang, oh. Ayun, baka maganda ng pagkakataw ito para sumugit, oh. You know, hindi malaman ni, ni Jun Jun kung nasakta na ito si Concepcion o hindi. Kanya, binabasa muna niya yung mga galaw ni Concepcion, eh. He's not taking any chances against a much bigger and a much heavier fighter. but definitely not unbowed no ito pong uh, o oh, unbowed ito pong si El Torito but this is a great boxing lesson that Donaire is uh, conducting nakuha niya na yung range dito ang ganda ng ano yeah. kumbiyansa na siya ayun tamaan man siya nakakatras na siya hindi niya inaabsorb yung full strength of that punch of El Torito unlike in the earlier rounds so sinasalo niya working that job now yun yung sinasabi natin galing nung uh, Dunaire. Ako, I have a feeling, no? Slowly, ha? Slowly but surely, nawawala na yung, uh, yung fighting spirit ni Concepcion. I think, uh, you know, the grueling pace has taken its toll. Ayun, na naman. Again, Dunaire connecting. And he doesn't have his timing anymore. And I think Dunaire feels that yung sting ng punches ni Concepcion kanina, iba na ngayon. Uh, so far, dominated na ni Jun Jun, no? Ang pace at saka yung exchanges. Aggressive pa rin si Concepcion, but it's very clear that uh, it's Donaire who is setting the pace now. And we've given him the last three rounds, Chino. Nakuha yung range. Alam niya na kung anong gagawin niya. He can score whenever he wants to. Ayun na, binoboxing na. Pero ano, he still not letting his guard down, which is the smart thing to do. Yung pa isa-isa ang ganun, iindahin mo yan. Hindi, hindi ngayon. Pwede bukas. O, oh, mga susunod na araw. Ayun na, dumidiin na. At saka nakakailag na. Hindi ka tulad kanina, pag counter, tumatama. I think now in the middle of the ring, Donito is showing that he's he's beating him to the punch. This is the 10th round of a schedule for 12. 
WBA Interim Super Flyweight Championship. Nakataya dito para kay Nonito Donaire. It's for the taking. Well, you notice the change in style dito ni Torito, partner. Ha? Kanina nakita natin, he was rushing with both fists flailing. Now he's just throwing jabs. Ah, hindi na siya, hindi na siya masyado matatapo ng power punches. And finally, a hit, a good one from Donaire. Ako sa tingin ko, baka dalawa na ang nakikitang uh, kalaban ni Concepcion dito. <laughs> Sa dami ng mga tama na nakuha niya. Hindi, eh, hindi sa dami ng tama. Sa dami ng best na ubiigot, nakakahilo yun. Para ka nasa Chubibo. <laughs> Awawa rin nga si Donaire dyan. Hindi siya pwedeng tataligo dito. Baka malubano siya. Donaire, yung dalawang round na uh, yung pagkatapos. Yung maganda close out. I think so. And, and makikita natin dito that uh, Donaire is in very good condition. And he's showing a lot of class. Una-una, uh, just to accept this fight against someone who didn't make the weight and he knew he was going to come in much heavier. Ano sabi nga, may, meron akong ano eh, meron isang nag, nag post eh, na kaibigan natin. Maganda daw itong uh, pag Parang panibagong age to na ang isang boksingero na kahit na hindi tumama yung timbang ng kalaban, agrees to fight anyways. Ano yung, yung ganda nun? Ang sabi ni Donaire, ano, this is for the country. Ay, gumaganti pa rin siya uh, entry ito. Well, kasi katamaan siya rito eh. And he's just showing the heart of a warrior. That's El Torito. Look at him go! Too many questions left unanswered. Si Daddy ang tunay kong ama? Too many issues needed to be dealt with. Alam mo ba? Nakaki ako na naiingit kay Maureen. Dahil lahat, lahat, lahat nasa kanya. And too many broken hearts yearning to be healed. Wala akong kailangan ipaliwanag sa'yo. Kahit magpaliwanag man ako, hindi mo rin may iimpin. Kung nagawin mo ang lahat sa akin, tune in for its finale. Here on GMA Pinoy TV. Panahon na para ipalam ang iyong sa loobin. Ito na ang chance mong makipag-chat live sa mga kandidato sa election 2010 dito sa Exchange sa Your Box, ang web election primer ng GMA News TV. What's it like to live in the land of the free? What does it take to become successful overseas? What inspires them to take pride in their motherland? Take a peek into the lives of our fellow Filipinos in America. Only on Filipinas. Here's a round after round of laughter from Pinoy Fantambayan. Expect heavy blow of hilarity on Bubble Gang. <laughs> Get smacked with amusement on Bitoy's funniest videos. <laughs> Be whacked with woody jokes on Cool Center. <laughs> and take hard hitting punchlines from our brand new comedy show. I hope she will be kind to me so we can be friends. You know. Get knocked out in laughter on Pinoy Fun Tambayan. Only on GMA Pinoy TV. Sa kagustuhan niyang wakasan na ang kasamaan. Isa sa kripisyong nga ba ni Roma ang sariling buhay? Ito lang ang paraan para magpatay ang sipaksa. O tarugtong ang buhay namin. Kapag namatay ako, mamamatay din siya. Sa muling pagahat ni Nadarna at Shiro, sino kaya ang magwawagi at may muling magbabalik? Nasaan ang anak ko? Si Shiro. Tunghaya ng mga lalong umiinit na tagbo ngayong linggo sa... Darna! On GMA Pinoy TV. Do you crave for LSD? Lies. Noong linggo, July 26, ibinalita sa isang talk show sa kabilang channel. 
ang karumal-dumal na sinapit ng dating sexy star na si Pamela Ortiz. Totoo po yan mga kaibigan, ang tanging star talk lang ang makakagawa nito. Narito po ang patay, live. Ano reaction mo nung malaman mong patay ka na? Ikaw ba talaga yan? Yeah, Opo. Opo. <laughs> Ikaw talaga? Oh. Scandals. Nang tanungin si Lovey, ukol sa nabalitang tensyon na namagitan sa kanila ni Rosana Roses. More than tension. <laughs> Naiyaan ko na lang kasi hindi porket ginaganda niya ako, eh ganun din ang ibabalik ko sa kanya. Hindi naman ako ganun. Ay, eh, parang lumaki naman ako ng maayos. And dirt? Barang guys, sir, hindi raw bad boy. Misunderstood lang. As long as nirespeto ko po ang sarili ko at ang mga kaharap ko, matino po akong tao. Chef Agen, marang dama ko ba? Well, well handa kami manood! Yeah! Say ni Mami Dionisia, si Piola ang type niyang maging leading man sa movie. If yes, then we'll hook you up with a showbiz authority. Gusto mo bang makabalik sa showbiz? Wala pong artista na hindi gustong bumalik sa showbiz. Kung role ng patay ang bibigay sa'yo, hindi mo tatanggapin? Hindi po. Ayaw mo na. Matala ka na. Star Talk. Get it here on GMA Pinoy TV. Bumigay na lang. Baka bumigay na lang dito si Concepcion, but you know, you never know because this guy's got a big heart. Sobra. And also, he's also got a lot of weight. Ang laki ng tinimbang nitong Concepcion. Hindi pa rin sa tingin mo, ang lapa, no? Ang tawag mo, parang super bantam na. Baka hindi na super bantam yan. Baka featherweight ang timbang. Pati ka rin not to make any excuses. Hindi gusto mo yan. Yeah, tapusin mo yan. This is a fight uh, almost like a junior lightweight against a welterweight. Ito, going for broke. Dito mas delikado. Dito ka mag-iingat. Ito ang nakakatakat ng round yung alam niyang desperado, alam niyang way, way behind on points. Papato na kahit ano yan. Exactly, no? He's desperate right now. You can see it in his eyes. Ito yung mga tinatawag dating piso tamong barko. Donaire with a glancing blow. Punta ng counter. Yun ang gusto natin, yung galaw ng hips. The balance. Ito, medyo tumitigil lang yung suntok niya ito, ha? Ni Concepcion. I think he got hurt that time. It's the accumulation of punches. Pero yung hinga ni Donaire, sa bibig na nang gagaling, no? I think... I think if Donito can hit him with one solid shot, this guy's gonna go down. One solid shot. Yun ang iniintay ni Donito. Tiga mo, the way he is cutting that right. Tumama. Pero nagulungan, no? A roll with the punch. Itong si Donaire. This is the 11th round, a minute to go. Good job, itong si El Torito. Pero wala nang follow up. Ayun, no? Natitigilan, kinito. Ayan, nasasakta, no? Ayan, umatrash for the first time again. After I saw him retreat in the 7th round. Kinamaan, kinito. Oh, beautiful shot. Sat. You left, ang tumama. I thought he was going to go down. But boy, this guy's made of hard stuff. Nakabawiba. Right hand coming from Concepcion. Donaire has to move around. He might be hurt, Kirito. But he sprays back. Boy, I tell you, what hard Kirito. This guy is really living up to his nickname. He's a bull. Ang gandang test nito. A true test for El Torito. At saka dito po kay Donaire, the Pinoy Flash. Sino mas malaki ang puso? As we enter the final round. So, ibang klaseng performance ang pinapakita dito ni El Torito. Di may gesture nga yung nanay sa'yo, di ba? For a son. Big heart. Take a look at the difference in power punches, eh? 103 landed for Donaire at si Concepcion 49. Oh! 
Tak jak sobie są tam. I wiesz, że mi energii pa. Nie da panu na tej stamina. I parę mi stamina to. I ma podał tutaj na dosy. Dla Kalina, gdy nie budu tam tej stamina, nie tam si... Concepcion against itong si Donaire. Pero ngayon, pareho nilang tinis yung hirap ng labing dalawang rounds. So no more questions about that. You know, Donaire is way, way ahead on points. I think he should just be content winning this fight on points. Baka machambahan siya dito ni Concepcion. You don't want that to happen. And it's happened in boxing. A last minute or a last second knockout. I think you're in a nasa isip ni Dunayre. Patapos mo pero hindi yung maingat. Kailan dumudin ka parin? So you know, no, as uh, this fight is coming to a close, na establish ni Nito Donaire ang kanyang class ha? and his overall boxing ability. Talain mo how he was able to fight this guy who was much bigger. At saka na weather niya yung storm. Bumapato ng mabibigat na suntok ito. The level went down, rolled with the punches. Ginamit yung kanyang generalship. Ginamit yung ring, ginamit yung range niya. You know, you know, sila sabi natin, there are ways to win a fight. Hindi naman palagi mananakout mo. Dito pa nakita sa'yo overall skill ng isang Monito Donaire, the Pinoy Flash. Pinigyan pa ng three-punch combination, pabaon. Ito si Donaire. Inside of 30 seconds. A nice shot. And itong si, si uh, El Torito is acknowledging the punches, no? You know, a lesser man would have gone down. Someone at the weight level of Donito Donaire would have been knocked out here. Probably within six rounds. And that's the end of this fight. A bloody, but what a fight. Hindi sumuko pareho. Nagkasakitan na test pareho si na Concepcion at saka si na Donaire. Ngayon, tatanong, ano pa nakuha ang rounds si Concepcion? May mga nakuha ang rounds, but better that we leave it now sa mata po ng ating mga judges. But, bigyan mo yung stats kanina, yung advantage and dominance ni Nunito, walang duda. Well, ang sabi ko nga kanina, no? Chino, Nunito, Donaire... He could have declined this fight because yung tinimbang na kanyang kalaban at the way in the hapon was four and a half over the weight limit. And remember, huh? the difference between super flyweight and bantamweight is only three pounds. Okay? It's only three pounds. Tumibang yung kalaban niya, four and a half pounds over. That means tumibang siya as a bantamweight. Tapos, nung nag-rehydrate pa, nagdagdag pa ng timbang, ina natin yung mulut. Pero, baka naging super, super featherweight na ito eh. But, you know, that's the heart of Donito Donaire. He didn't want to disappoint the fans. Sabi niya, tuloy ang laban. Maski na, ito si Concepcion will come in 10, 20 pounds more than me. But what he was wary of, at tayo din, Chino, no? pinag-usapan natin ito before the fight, baka kaya din ni Concepcion yung power ni Donaire because it's but natural. It's almost like a lightweight fighting a welterweight. But pinatunayan dito ni Nonito Donaire, number one is class. I mean, this guy is a world-class world champion. Number two, pinatunayan niya dito ang puso at ang galing ng Pinoy. At pangatlo, yung dedication niya dito. No? He didn't want to let the Filipino nation down and he didn't want to let the family of the late President Cory Aquino down. Alam mo gagawin niya doon sa trunks niya? Pag-uwi niya sa Pilipinas, si Jeff Rain niya. At yung isa ng appointment doon sa pamilya ng uh, dignating presidente Corazon Aquino. Okay. At sa mismo, dadali niya doon sa bahay para i-present yung kanyang trunks na to. Oy, As a na gesture na. ng kanyang uh, pasasalaman at pagsaludo sa ating dating presidente. Sana makasama tayo. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Vegas Hard Rock, we go to the scorecards. Max DeLuca scores it. 117-111. Dwayne Ford, 115-113. And Jerry Roth, 
112, all to the winner by unanimous decision, the Filipino Flash, Norito Doniel. Ito po yung bagong bet na, actually, yung bet na sinasabi sa kanya is now the WBA Interim Super Flyweight Belt. Well, Karina, he was induced, he was introduced as the former. The former. Hindi pa naman niya relinquish. Hindi pa niya relinquish yun. Wala pa decision. Parang ginawa nilang uh, ishmutan epidemic. Hindi pa, hindi pa. Sasabihin mo pa yun, bibigyan ka ng certain number of days. Kung ganito na merong hawak, meron kang option to choose. And nothing is, uh, tinatawag natin, moot and epidemic in this situation. Pero, nonetheless, no? Mission accomplished. Para dito, kay Nonito Donaire Jr. Thank you, Al. Rafael, felicidades. That was a great fight, valiant effort. You were hurt early, you were cut early, yet you persevered, and you caught him with some big shots. Were you seriously hurt at any point in this fight? Bueno, la cortada era... Eh, la cortada me molestó bastante desde los primeros asaltos, pero bueno, esperaba una decisión al menos más estrecha. Yo vine a pelear, no a correr maratón. Así que, pero bueno, eh, la vida es así, se retoma el rumbo y próximamente, Dios primero, estaremos encima de un entarimado. The cut really bothered me the first few rounds. Then I got used to it, and it wasn't, you know, that big of a deal. But, you know, I came to fight. I didn't come to run. If I would have known it was a marathon, I would have run. Your weight advantage in the fight seemed pretty apparent. You seemed to be very strong and, and, and powerful when you were catching with the shots. Did, uh, did you feel that was the case tonight? Sí, sentí que hice varias, varios, eh, varias ocasiones daño en el mentón y al cuerpo, pero no se detuvo nunca a pelear. Yo esperaba un filipino, como dice el Nick, fast, pero era un fast running, uh, no un fast fighter. Así que bueno, no ha pasado nada y a retomar el rumbo. You know, I was waiting, uh, I was expecting a fight, you know, a real Filipino fighting, not a runner. So, you know, I was prepared to fight. I thought he was going to engage me a lot more. He never wanted to, because he knew I could hurt him. Well, you were very good tonight, Rafael, and you fought very valiant. Your, what, is your, what is your take on Nonito Doner, and if you were to move up in the weight classes? ¿Qué es lo que piensas de él como boxeador? Bueno, es muy buen boxeador, muy habilidoso, muy escurridizo, eh, muy técnico. Eh, pero pensé que era un poquito más guerrero y, y no tan escurridizo. You know, I knew he was a great boxer, a great technician. He showed me all his abilities tonight. I just hope that he had more of a warrior's heart and we would exchange a lot more. Thank you, Ricardo, and thank you, Rafael, for a great night tonight. Salud. Felicidades. Salud. Un saludo a Panamá, al señor Gustavo Torres, al señor Manuel de Preaza, y el saludo de cumpleaños a mi hija Alison. Te amo, Alison, por eso estoy aquí. Y bueno, un saludo a toda la afición en Panamá, Vicente, Loco, Mosquera, y Maco, que en paz descanse. Gracias, Rafael. Hey, hey. Nonito, how you doing, my friend? Congratulations. Great, great fight tonight. You know, it's very interesting to watch because he gave up, you gave up about four and a half pounds at the weigh-in, and that's not counting the extra weight that was put on after that. Did you think the, the weight advantage was a big factor tonight? Oh, definitely. But first off, I want to thank God, Top Rank, and all the Filipinos, and everyone that came over here. Thank you so much for everything. Um, definitely the five pounds that uh, he, he had on me. I mean, if he was at 115, he would have he went down early. I mean, he ran into all those punches. You know, he messed up my hand. I mean, there, you know, I always say to myself that I'll break his face or I'll break my hand. And apparently today he broke my hand to the point where, you know, he, he, that pound, that extra pound that he had was definitely uh, a big advantage for him. But, you know, I'm a warrior. I dedicated this fight to uh, the late Corey Aquino. And uh, even if he weighed in at 20 pounds over, I would definitely come over here and fight because that's my dedication. Uh, that's my honor to my country. And I'm just thankful for everything and for everyone. He landed some beautiful shots, beautiful body work, which you hurt him with earlier, and nice counter right hands and uppercuts. At what point did you feel that you hurt your hand? Oh, it was definitely early when I got him with that uppercut uh, that cut him. Um, you know, but 
it's, it's part of my game. No matter how messed up it is or sprained or whatever it is, I'm here to fight. I'm here to make any excuses, but I'm here to give honor to my, to my country and, and show that we're great fighters. And, and we showed it today with a lot of heart from my part, um, knowing that the guy was a lot heavier than I am. But, you know, I came in here to represent. I came here to fight with all my heart. Definitely represented and showed a lot of skill and courage tonight. Now that you've practically gone up two weight classes tonight, how, how do you feel about your ascension in the higher weight classes, and is that still in the game plan? Oh, definitely. I mean, the guy was definitely a 122-pounder tonight. Um, and if he was a 115, like I said, he would have went down. But, um, you know, he was a tough guy, and I'm definitely ready for the big guys in this weight class. So ideally, Nonito, if you had, if you had to have it your way, who would you like to see in the ring next? Oh, definitely. You know, the great um, Mexican fighters, you know, they're always fighters, and, and I would love to test myself with them. Um, Montiel, um, you know, Arce, I mean, those guys, those guys are my friends. Mis amigo, pero, you know, this is boxing, and those are the guys that are on top of me right now, and I want to prove to myself that I belong in that same division. We definitely belong. Congratulations. It was a great fight, and it was a great time for the fight tonight. Al, I'll tell you, great night of fighting tonight. A lot of these fighters persevered, made it a lot more interesting than uh, we thought initially it was going to be. A lot of action, a lot of activity, and a lot of these fighters fought with, with honor and with courage and passion, and I think Panoy Power should be very proud of the uh, card that was displayed tonight. Panoy Power 3. It's coming up. Ito po yung uh, final notes natin dito sa ating uh, Pinoy Power 2. Humihirit na ng Pinoy Power 3 siya. Eh. Pahinga ka muna, bata. For, pero tiga mo yung ibina to. Yung throne at saka yung landed. Yun naman ang pinag-uusapan dun eh. Pwede ka tumapon, pero kung di ka tatama, mahirap. And again, no, yung copy boxes natin showing why this was hailed as a unanimous de uh, decision victory para sa bagay mo sampah sa super flyweight Division na si Nonito Donaire Jr. and to dedicate true service to every Filipino. Panahon na para ipalam ang iyong sa loobin. Ito na ang chance mong makipag-chat live sa mga kandidato sa election 2010 dito sa Exchange sa Your Box, ang web election primer ng GMA News.TV. Sa kagustuhan niyang wakasan na ang kasamaan, isasakripisyong nga ba ni Roma ang sariling buhay? Ito lang ang paraan para magpatay ang ipaksa! Huwag sarugtong ang buhay namin! Kapag namatay ako, mamamatay din siya! Kamawa! Sa muling pagharap ni na Dagma at Shiro, sino kaya ang magwawagi at may muling magbabalik? Nasaan ang anak ko? Si Shiro. Tunghaya ng mga lalong umiinit na tagbo ngayong linggo sa... Darna! On GMA Pinoy TV. Deal with life just like Angelina and Yaya. Learn the basics of having fun just like Angelina. Oh, no. Bakit nereklamo ka ba? May problema ka ba? And learn how to deal with extraordinary challenges like Yaya. Ganyan-ganyan. At bakit? Laugh it all up with your favorite gang, Bubble Gang, on Fun Tambayan, here on GMA Pinoy TV. Ang tunay na lalaki, matigas. Matitigas yung hassle ko eh. Oh, matigas nga! Matapang. Gusto mo makakita ng bakla? At muratik. Anak kita! Mahilig sa... Babae! Magino. I'm a good person. With a good heart. You know. At hindi kumikimbo. Show me the money! si si Junjun mas fluent 'yan sa Cebuano o Bolano 
kesa sa pagsalita uh, ng Tagalog kasi yun nga huling guwahe nila. Okay, may nakalimutan yung tukaya dito sa, sa may kanto ni Rafael Concepcion. Buti nakita ni uh, Dracula Ed, eh, referee Ra Draculich pala. Ang mag-anak yan eh, nung tinalo kanina yung, ni Miligay. Yung El Gambino. Ano, sabi ko na sa'yo eh, huwag mo ko sisimulan nito. <laughs> oh, dito na muna yung taksala pa na po. Seryoso na tayo rito. Seryoso muna. Pero hindi totoo na pugian si Bernabe Concepcion kaya ayun yung sutukin si Lovano ha. <laughs> Not to serious business. I think both the fists of uh, Donaire are loaded. <laughs> Pero ang sabi niya sa akin, hindi niya alam kung uh, yung power niya iuubra sa isang boksingero who will probably come into this fight weighing 130 pounds. Pero sabi niya, it's a challenge. I'm confident of my power. At titignan natin, how far uh, Torito Concepcion can go. Again, because hindi nakuha ang timbang ni Torito, kung siya manalo dito, the title will remain vacant. Pero kung manalo si Nonito, since nakuha niya ang timbang, he will be the new interim WBA Super Flyweight Championship and he will be on the road to trying to become Naku, a multi-divisional champion. Yes. At nakapikit na po itong si El Torito, hindi malang kung paano hihilag. And Donaire teeing off very early. Pero pinakawalan niya. Nakita mo, pwede niya na ikinulong dun eh. But Donaire allowing El Torito to just escape after being clipped Ayun. with the one-two combination. And, and Chino, you can see that Concepcion really has a lot of respect for the power of Donaire. Galaw siya ng galaw eh. Ayaw niyang matamaan. Saka hindi pa dumarating yung suntok, nakapikit na. <laughs> and not only that, halos hindi siya sumusuntok dito, no? You see, he probes with his left hand, pero... That punch is far from hitting the target. Donaire is absolutely controlling the tempo of this first round. Look at the range, Kinito, and look at the balance. Sino masarap panoorin kay Donito Donaire? Yung display of that skill inside of first round in what is a dominating first round immediately for the Pinoy Flash. Sabay kinda. Responsibility. Patay ang lalaki matapos gitgitin daw siya. Para mabigyan kustisya ang biktima. Credibility. Investigahan ang mga patalas na sa TV ng mga opisyal ng gobyerno. Pinagbabato ng itlog ang mga litrato ng mga opisyal na may infomercial. Integrity. Sabi ni Era, pula naman siyang motibo para ipapatay. Hindi naman nila maluloko tao ba yan. Hindi siya yung tipo ng tao mag-uutos na pumatay sa isang kapwa tao. Dedication. Pero ano nga ba? Ang pang-araw-araw na buhay ng isang bus driver. Mahigit labing walong oras nang nasa kalsada si Mang Sani. Professionalism. Hindi po nagbawat presyo ang mga butika sa ilang gamot. Bakit hindi kayo sumunod? Excellence. Walang kinikilingan, walang pinoprotekta. Walang kasinungalingan, sir. Bisong totoo lamang. These are the virtues we live by. Every hour, every minute, and every second. Because we adhere to our commitment to deliver balanced and reliable news. Yun ang gusto ko sa paan itong si Nonito Donaire. Na, nakikita niya na yung galaw and he is just ready to retreat and then spring back to action. At saka Chino, maganda dito, maganda dito kay Nonito. Eh ano, pinag-aaralan niya ang Steeler de Concepcion. He's going to break down that defense bit by bit. He's a thinking fighter and he's got all the skills. Tignan niya yung pag-counter niya. Oh. Yun ang pinakamaganda doon. Sumusuntok sa hangin. Now, so far, yung pinag-usapan natin kanina, yung speed, ito, very evident, no? very evident advantage ni uh, Donaire. Yung power, well, nakita na natin question mark. Oo, oh, oh, kanina nung, uh, nung, nung first round, no? yung, yung stamina. Yan ang gusto kong, yan ay, sasagutin sa atin yan. Eh. <laughs> Tira na agad nung kanan, ito pong si Lunito Donaire of a fake. Kumik sa ng kaliwa, tapos biglang binanato ng kanan. Yung stamina, tignan natin kung magkakaroon siya ng problema with breathing. But I don't think it's a major problem para dito kay Lunito Donaire. He was stayed in shape. At talagang disiplinado ang nakita natin approach nito sa training camp niya na ito. Alam mo, maganda dito kay Torito eh. Siya nag-adam. Nice shot. He got, he got Lunito Donaire with that time with right hand. And Junjun comes back with that left. Yung tinatanong mo kanina, yung last natin, ability to take a punch. Yun, hindi ko pa nakikita si Junjun kasing tamaan. Itong si Pinoy Flash. Medyo nag-iisig doon si Donaire, ha? He got hit by a solid right hand coming from Concepcion along the ropes. His back was on the ropes. So, siguro, naiisip yun ni Donaire, no? Biak na yung uh, kaliwang kilay nitong si El Torito. Donaire gets tagged. 
But yeah, Torito, he moves away from danger. And he got, he got tagged again. Torito is showing the power of a bigger guy. He's showing the power of a bigger guy. And Torito si hurting itong yeah. si Donaire. And Donaire's face doon sa may bandang uh, hana na namumula. Well, this is a very big round for uh, Concepcion. There's a big weld now on the right side of the face of Donaire. He got hit by the left hand. Ang ganda ng bomba ni Torito. Although, dumudugo, no? Meron pumutok na po itong si... Dito si may bandang uh, taliwang kilay, si El Torito. City, Philippines, the former flyweight champion of the world. Nonito, the Filipino Flash Donia! Ay na, tinawag na na Donair, pero sanay ako, Donaire. Ayan po, hindi, tawag ko sa kanya dito, Donair. Pag nasa Pilipinas, Donaire. And of course, ang tataka kayo, bakit? Bakit? Dilaw. Eh, pula tayo nakikita natin kay Nonito Donaire. Again, ulitin po natin ito ay uh, pagpupugay ng ating kapatid na si Nonito, the Pinoy Flash Donaire, sa ating uh, Presidente Corazon, si Aquino. In fact, in the back waistband, uh, sa shorts ni uh, Donaire, nakalagay ang pangalan, Aquino. At sa likod ng kanyang robe, hindi natin masyado nakita as he entered the ring, nakalagay the, the letters uh, IMO. IMO in memory of the former President Cory Aquino. And yan po ang uh, dedication ni Donito Donaire for this fight. Yung timba will be a factor. Tignan ho natin kung paano ang uh, laki ng katawan nito pong si uh, El Torito. He came in at 119 yesterday. Hindi niya ho binabayan. And I think he has grown to at least 129 dito, dito sa, sa laban na ito. Parang tangki, oh. Malaki siya, yes. But he's much smaller. And I don't know if uh, he can last 12 rounds, no? Kung hindi siya masyadong preparado in terms of training. Sinabi naman sa atin that uh, okay naman ang jeta niya, okay naman ang training niya. Hindi lang talaga niya mapigana ang kanyang katawan to bring it down to 150. In his last fight, he fought at 120. The fight before that, 127. Okay, yung buhok ni Nonito Donaire, parang anime. Hindi na ho nagpagupit siya dahil usually maikliho yung buhok niya. Ginawa niya mystery yung buhok niya. Yung pala, ang tawag ng mga matatandang barbero dyan, Iper. In a now garb in gold. Parang ano yan, gold and yellow ang tawag natin dyan. Nonito Donaire hits with that little left. And missing with that sharp right. Hindi ba masyado nakikita natin yung jab ni uh, Donaire? There you go. Magalaw si Torito, ha? He has to stay out of the range. Inito kaya yun siguro oh. ginagawang turo sa kanya. And immediately, there is that left by Donito Donaire. Biglang biglang. Who staggers. Ito pong si uh, El Torito, Rafael Rafa Concepcion. Gentlemen from the Hard Rock Hotel Casino of Las Vegas, Bob Arum's top ranked boxing is proud to present the main event of the evening on the line, the vacant WBA interim world championship, 12 rounds of boxing in the super flyweight division, sponsored by Tecate Cerveza Con Caracter and the Vegas Hard Rock. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman Bill Brady, Executive Director Keith Kaiser, Commissioner Skip Avancino Jr., John Bailey, T.J. Day, and Pat Lundville. Ringside physicians are doctors James Game, William Berliner, Stephen Leibowitz, and Vicky Mazzarana. Timekeepers at the bell and counting for the knockdown seconds, Jim Cavan and Steve Esposito. And representing the WBA is supervisor Michael Welsh. For this bout, the title can only be won by the red corner, as his opponent in the blue corner did not make the official weight. The three judges at ringside scoring this bout, Max DeLuca, Dwayne Ford, and Jerry Roth. And inside the ring, your referee in charge of the action at the bell, Vic Draculich. And now for the thousands in attendance here at the Vegas Hard Rock and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble!
fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing blue, official weight, 119 one half pounds. His professional record, 13 victories, including eight knockouts with three defeats and one bout even. From Panama City, Panama, here is Rafael El Torito Concepcion. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing yellow official weight, 115 pounds. His professional record, 21 victories, including 14 KOs, only one defeat. From General Santo 